a nifty way to travel. Have you boys had a lot of experience? We have. With coffins. Oh, good. What? I am the fox. Open that door. You'll never take me alive. Very well, then I'll shoot the lock in. You've just heard another thrilling drama by the master brain of murder, the fox, who creates and solves each of these perfect crimes himself. Uh, there's a certain gentleman who is in our way, Mr. Denton. We wish to, shall we say, eliminate him. We are relying on the fox to devise a perfect method. You mean you want me to kill somebody on the level? No, you just do the thinking. We'll do the work. <laughs> Expect me to dream up this murder? Aren't you wrestling somewhere tonight? Open that thing and tell him to let us in. I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? He's liable to do it. Go ahead, darling. We're not afraid, are we? Oh, now, don't get me wrong. It's not that I'm afraid, because I am. Get nosy, bub. You saved my life. Who are you? I am the fox. I'm listening to his heart. He's a very sick man. We're telling you. No! Well, here you are, my good man. Here's a brand new American dollar for you. It's only a nickel. That is the new American dollar after all the income tax has been removed. Uh-huh. You killed the judge, didn't you? No. You're Sylvester, aren't you? No. You killed Gordon, the judge knew about it, so you rubbed him out too, isn't that it? No. He's beginning to break down. Come on, speak up. The judge is... He's dead. Uh-huh. Drunk. Oh. <laughs> Call me the fox. 
Oh, 